Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the three best baits for March bass fishing. With March right around the corner, these are going to be the baits that you want to have tied on, so stay tuned and let's get right into it. So with the previous episodes of this series, I've been making bait suggestions based off of my experience of fishing different lakes outside of the state of Pennsylvania during those times of years because we never get to fish in Pennsylvania in January and February. Now with March coming up, we're finally going to get to fish. By the time you see this video, I'm going to be getting ready to head to Florida. When we get back from Florida, I'll be fishing every weekend after that. So there will be a ton of on the water content coming very soon. And these will be the baits that I will be throwing the month of March up here in Pennsylvania. So if you want to see anything particular, go ahead and leave a comment down below, whether it's in Florida or when we get back. And I'll be making those videos once we get out on the water here. But for today, let's jump into the three baits that I'm going to have tied on all of March while I'm out there fishing. So my first choice and probably the one I use the most in March is going to be a jig, but this is not any jig. I rigged this up specifically for cold water fishing and it gets me a ton more bites as compared to other types of jigs out there. I still like to fish shallow in March. It's possible to do it, but you can also fish this one a little bit deeper as well in some offshore brush piles and stuff like that. That's the type of cover these fish are going to live in this time of year. They're either going to get up on the bank and in lay downs and brush piles and warm themselves on those banks on sunny days, or they'll hold in offshore brush piles just off the bank on the colder days. So this jig right here is the Missile Baits Ike's Mini Flip Jig. This thing is amazing for cold water bass fishing specifically in March. It is a much smaller jig than you would expect from a full size flipping jig. I think this has like a two or three odd hook in it and it has a very finesse cut, fine skirt to it. It's very small, compact, it goes through the cover well. The way this head is designed comes through brush piles amazing and I prefer the 3 8 ounce size this time of year. I do fish the half ounce a lot as well, but I like the 3 8 because it has a slower fall. Typically in this colder water, everything's moving slower to begin with. So I like a bait with a slower fall to it. So I'll put the 3 8 ounce on. That'll be the one that I'll fish. The other thing that I do with this, because it's such a finesse jig, is I will fish this on lighter line than I usually would. In the summertime when I fish this jig, I use this jig a lot. I'll use the half ounce with 20 pound test. In the early spring, like March, April, stuff like that, I'll actually go down to the 3 8 like I said, but I'll also go down to 17 or even 15 pound test sometimes. I'm often fishing around the outsides of brush piles and stuff. I'm not going to be flipping this into the heart of a lay down or anything like that. I kind of fish it around the outsides. I fish it slow. I'll fish it on rocks often uh, where there might not be any cover besides some rocks and I use the lighter line to get me more bites and I'm typically not setting the hook as hard or anything like that. I'm fishing this much more finesse-like this time of year, but this jig is awesome because it allows me to do both. And then when I'm picking a trailer for this jig, my number one choice for this time of year is going to be a chunk style trailer and I thread it on the jig to make it even smaller and more compact. So this is a Berkley Powerbait meaty chunk. It's like a two and a half inch bait thread it up on that jig. It's already compact enough, but that jig is even smaller with that small trailer on the back there. That is the perfect snack size meal to catch some fish in this colder water temperature in March that we're gonna have. Um, another good option would be like a Zoom z Crod Junior, but I find that has a little bit too much action to it. Um, a curly tail, double tail, curly tail grub would work good on the back of here too. But again, I like something with not a lot of action to it, which is exactly what this chunk style trailer does. My second choice for March bass fishing is going to be a jerk bait, specifically in this colder water. I've caught fish on a jerk bait all the way down to 42 degree water temperature. That's the theme with a lot of these baits. Most of the water temps we're gonna get here right at the beginning of March are gonna be around that 42 degree, 44 degree range. We're gonna need baits that appeal to the fish no matter how cold the water is, and the jerk bait does just that. I will always have this thing tied on throughout the entire course of the spring, and I can adjust my retrieve or my bait selection to appeal to the type of fish that I'm fishing for and the mood of the fish. So I fish for smallmouth a lot up here. This is the Megabass Vision 110 Junior. I actually really like this bait for smallmouth. It gets, this is the plus one version. It gets down a little bit deeper in that colder water and it appeals to smallmouth. I also fish the 110 plus one a lot. That one gets down a little bit deeper too. I like a deeper diving jerk bait to start the year and I like a suspending jerk bait. I wanna be able to fish it slow with long pauses and be able to entice those fish into biting. 
And if we have a warm spring or a warm day and those fish push up onto the bank, try and get some sunshine, you can fish this thing down a little bit faster or even a little bit shallower and go to the shallow diving versions and change your presentation, but use the same bait to get more bites on those different types of days. In the early spring like this, conditions change so fast. One day those fish could be offshore, and if you have three or four days of sunny, warm conditions, those fish will slide right up onto a bank and start getting some sun. Not all the fish might move at once, but enough might move that you could go catch some on a jerkbait up shallow in three or four foot of water because they're trying to get some sunshine up there. So having versatile baits that can fish either shallow or offshore just like that jig will allow you to catch fish no matter what the conditions are and not having to try and adjust bait selection too much. When it comes to color selection on these jerk baits, I keep it pretty simple as well. If the water's stained, I like to go to like a bone color or a pearl white. And then if the water is very clear on a cloudy day or a sunny day, I'll go to a translucent color. And on a very sunny day, I will go to a metallic color that throws a lot more flash and can draw fish in from a distance. And you don't need to buy a Mega Bass jerkbait just because they cost a lot of money doesn't mean it's the best one out there. There are a lot of other good jerkbaits out there that don't cost as much as this. Is this a very good jerkbait? Absolutely, it catches a ton of fish and it's one of my favorites. I pretty much always have a Mega Bass tied on in the spring solely because the way that they're made, they suspend awesome and they have a perfect gliding action to them that can work really well when the water is cold. You don't want something that has a lot of snap to it. A lot of times some of those cheaper jerk baits that you might see, especially if they got two hooks on them, they'll have a little bit more of a dart to them rather than like a longer glide. And that is what you're looking for in a cold water jerk bait. I did a video on it recently if you wanna check that out, but that is my favorite jerk bait. I like the Mega Bass ones if I can get my hands on them. Other than that, Rapala Shadow Wraps, Rick Klun RCSTX, those are awesome jerk baits as well for a little bit more budget price point. And lastly, this is another one that you can fish offshore, you can fish it shallow, it catches smallmouth, spotted bass, largemouth. This thing is like the ultimate springtime fish catching machine, and that is the finesse swim bait. I will always have one of these tied on, if not multiple, different colors, different sizes, different jig head sizes. This thing excels in cold water. You can fish it fast, you can fish it up in the water column for suspended fish if needed on a warmer day if they kind of slide up. You can use a lighter jig head to fish it shallow. You can get offshore with this thing on a bigger jig head and roll it really slow on the bottom for fish that are tight to the bottom there. The biggest key with the finesse swim bait is you want your bait to stay with about a foot of the bottom most of the time, unless you have forward facing sonar and can literally look at them and draw them off the bottom. If you're fishing this thing without forward facing sonar, it is best to just let this thing get down to the bottom and fish it within a foot of the bottom and fish will come find this thing with the water being cold, a lot of these fish will pin themselves down on the bottom next to cover anyway. So that's where you want your bait to be. When it comes to picking this bait out, I keep it really simple. 1 8 3 16 or 1 quarter ounce jig heads, depending on the water depth. And then I will fish a 3.3 Kai Tech is pretty much my number one go-to bait, but occasionally I'll downsize to a 2.8. Or if you have some bigger baits, you can go up to a 3.8 as well. And for color selection, I keep it even simpler than that. I pretty much just fish two colors, electric shad and French pearl. You pretty much just want two colors, a natural bait fish color, and then a white for stained water. White, white and chartreuse, white with some flash, something that's bright and stands out. That is how simple this bait is. You cast it out, let it sink down to the bottom, and reel it in nice and slow. Doesn't matter if you're fishing for smallmouth, big lakes that are thousands of acres or small little ponds that are only one acre big, half an acre big, this thing will catch you a ton of fish no matter how cold the water gets. It is probably the first bait that I tie on whenever I get out there fishing first of the year. So if you enjoyed today's video talking about March baits that you need to have, if you're interested in this finesse swim bait, go ahead and check this video out right here. I just did talking about how to fish this thing, the full setup, rigging, everything you need to know about this bait so that you can catch more fish with it this year. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more of my fishing tips coming up.